if a big channel made my last two videos as their own, there would be people in the comments just ranting and raving about how wonderful they were. And some years, oh yes, but no, I don't know. No, I think I'm shadow banned, and not just this channel, my other YouTube channel as well. But let's not talk about negative stuff. Um, as you can see, we've got dump action. And I've drawn in some more white horizontal lines. On the way down, these white horizontal lines will be support. And on the way up, they will be resistance. And how I've gotten those is I've just went back here to the left. And I've seen where there's a lot of interaction, a lot where wicks stop, where candle bodies stop or start. And I've drawn in these white lines. The ones four or five down here on the bottom are just basically the wicks where the dump stopped. You can see here, 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 and uh, up through here, it gets a little harder to see to the untrained eye. The three up at top are the last three highs. So anyways, enough with that. Let's go down to the hourly chart. And if you watch my last video, you know what I was saying. And that's just basically exactly what I said to watch out for, right? And so I do expect this to continue. Now, it doesn't have to. You know, I'm not saying that, saying that you know, I know exactly what's going to happen because I don't. But in my last video, I was saying, watch out for this. Boom. And, you know, it probably, it'll probably bounce back up here a little bit. Maybe, maybe it continues to dump further, but this is probably support. You can see that white line I have drawn in there. Look at that white line back to the left. You see how it was support through here and resistance here on the daily chart. That's that's where I drew that line in. And now on the hourly, you can see more detail. You can see clearly that's support and resistance in the past. And there it is. So I would suspect for, you know, the next 12, 4, 24 hours or so, I, I don't know how long exactly, but, you know, I would expect this to probably get find support here. And, and bounce back up and kind of go sideways. And we're probably looking at, after it does its thing, whatever whatever it does here, boom. We're probably looking at a test, if not to this 66,100 level, to down here at about 65,300 and, and then sideways, whatever it's gonna do, you know, in that ballpark. Um, so, you know, I, my last video, I said that that was going to happen. I, I said to watch out for it. I, I liked it. You know, I didn't say it's going to happen, but I like that. And and uh, just because I've been watching this for a number of years now, and particularly last cycle, that's that's was the behavior it did. Boom. Big, big crap. Big dump. Now, these dumps aren't anything compared to last cycle. But uh, I do believe this is probably the mid-cycle pump that's, that's ending. So... You know, the, the true having, post having parabolic Bitcoin cycle pump is off here to the right. I don't think we've started that yet. I mean, obviously, we've gone up a long ways and are un in uncharted territory when they broke the all time high on the mid cycle pump. But I do not believe this is the post having pump that Bitcoin is famous for. I think that's still probably a couple months away before that starts. So we probably have a short window of time where this could dump down. Now, it doesn't have to dump. But uh, if it did dump, if it did dump, um, I'm looking at the top of my macro descending channel here. The green is mainly the macro. The little gray one on top is my bull trap extension. And that's any line you see coming down here, even the dotted heart lines, is support and also resistance on the way back up. Um, now, I could ignore some of these. But what I want to show you right now is, is you know, I've talked about the Batman pattern before. and Let's go to the daily. I've talked about the Batman when it didn't look like a Batman, and then when Batman patterns show up for some reason, I don't, I don't mention them. <laughs> but there he is, right? There's his ears, left ear, right ear, right, and get this magnet off. And there's, he's actually got his head this time on this one. This is the daily chart. Boom! And there, there's his little peak on his head. See, look at that. There he is. There's Batman. That's Batman top. It's, you know, it's called a double top, but Batman is pretty cool. He's, he's got both his ears in there and they're perfectly level this time. And so it doesn't have, you know, no matter what, what top it is, if you watch my videos, you, I've always shown, I've always talked about when you see these rapid big pumps, 
they'll put in what, whatever top it's going to be, and and that whole that whole pump the whole pump will come right back out, right? So if that's what's happening, then I I really like this sixty six thousand one hundred and seventeen as support, and so if you noticed, it's no coincidence that that Bitcoin came down here. You see you see this this area here, this consolidation area. Right, and then the big pump up out of it, and then the top, and and then it's coming back down. So it's no coincidence that it's finding support right there. See that where I've circled the top, the top of that range. It's that's support now. And usually when this happens, you know that that could be the whole dump. That could be the whole dump. There might not be much more to this, but usually that the whole that whole green pump will come back out, and that would be the sixty six thousand dollar level that this will probably come back down to. And, you know, it could come back down here to this, this green one here. So where this, you know, this whole pump kind of started here and that would be the 65,380 white line here. And it could just come back to you know, the whole, I mean, I do expect this dump that we're in now to stop in this, in this, what I'm circling somewhere in here, which the bottom wick here is at this bottom white line. At 64,685. Now, the, these two white lines here are kind of in conjunction with each other. That's not necessarily a, a line as more as it is as an area. $65,000 is smack dab in the middle of those. So that, that's kind of a, an area to watch just in the, the last few months of the Bitcoin history. And uh, lots of interaction there around 60, a little above, and on my chart, a little above 65,000, a little below 65,000. Now, also, what could be happening, and this is not this is on the table. It's not just it's just not it's not just this pump. It's not just the Batman that's coming out. It could be this entire thing down here that started at sixty thousand three hundred. You know, now, now I I always say watch. You know, it starts with the big pump. So you know, this green this big green candle here is where the big fast hard pump came from, and. That's that's it about sixty one thousand three hundred. It could it could be this whole this whole pump top this whole pump that's coming back out and that would put us down back here at the sixty thousand. It's, it's about sixty thousand eight hundred. I, I think I missed said that this this is sixty thousand eight hundred is a real a real good level of support and resistance if it were to fall under it. Um, now I've got a lot of white lines on here and I I don't want to clutter up my chart, but I just wanted to mark the the real good ones to watch, and uh, I think that you should draw in this chart. No matter who you are, you should. This is Bitcoin on Femex. This is the Bitcoin USDT pairing on Femex. I do suggest that you go in and draw in my chart, and uh, just watch what I'm doing here because this is working really, really, really well. And unfortunately, I have the bulk of my money wrapped up in a, in a hedge mode swing trade, which is okay, but I'd like to be day trading this. And uh, I just don't have the funds available. I need to protect my hedge mode swing trade. So, it's, it's, you know, <laughs> but what I've learned is just take my time, right? I'm not going to force anything because this, this is, you know, when I wake up tomorrow, Bitcoin is going to be here. When I wake up next week, you know, Bitcoin is still going to be here. And it's, there's always opportunities coming. So if you miss, if if you feel like you're FOMOing, like you're missing out on something, don't worry about it because there's something else coming, right? And uh, so, you know, the grand scheme of things, you know, what if it's not just this one? Is you know, it could be this bottom down here at fifty six thousand. It could be this whole entire pump that's coming up, double top, Batman top, boom, back down here, and you know. At that point in time, we're likely looking, you know, at this top of this green channel here is going to be lined up. You know, it probably won't be that fast. It'd probably be more like, you know, something like ding, 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 ding out here, right? And, you know, it's probably lined up at the top of that green channel and a bounce off the top of this green channel at some time. Could be interesting to watch. And, you know, I do think that this this big green descending bullish channel probably will come back into play. And very well could be the support bounce that leads into the the true having pump. Now that's speculation, but I do think that probably if you're watching social YouTube videos and social, if you're watching social media about Bitcoin, 
I think you've probably had a great injustice done to you by people telling, calling this the cycle, you know, the cycle, the cycle, the heavy cycle. I, I think this is just the mid-cycle pump that came up and broke the all-time high and flipped everyone's minds kooky. And, you know, even, you know, even if it doesn't come down further from right here where it's at now, you know, it, it say it just went sideways, you know, and now here's the true having pump. I do think this is probably coming down further. I don't know where, where wherever this ends up stopping and bouncing, I think is probably, you know, it, it's probably whatever it does there. I, I think the true having pump is, is way out here, not way out there is, uh, you know, probably August, July. Right. I, I think you've had an injustice done to you by by the analysts not not realizing that this is just the mid cycle pump. And I could go back to previous cycles. I don't think it's going that far, but I could come back. I could go back and watch and make this video long. Go back to previous cycles and show you that uh, you know this this pump started down here, basically the exact same time the mid cycle pump started on the previous cycle in uh, 2019. It just went up higher and longer in time to the right. And so that would suggest that when this ends, it's gonna be a relatively short time before the real the real big kahuna comes. And I expect it to go to probably 139,000. I'm gonna to stick to that until I have a reason not to say it's, that's not my number, but I like 139,000, basically a double, doubling the last all time high at 69. I'd say it has, you know, a 10% chance of going up to 200,000, which would be a, a 2X. So if it went to 139,000, that would be a 1X from the previous all-time high from last cycle. If it went up to uh, like 208,000, that would be a 2X. And uh, I know people get confused with that as well. They want to say that from 70 to 140 is a 2x, but that's not true. 70,000 to 140,000 is a 1x. And uh, I don't know if you've seen that stuff, that actor. What's, the, what's that actor's name? You've, you've probably seen it on YouTube. He's talking about why one times one should be two, not one. <laughs> um, it's it's kind of it's kind of interesting. If you've seen that flower of life geometric pattern. What's the name? Uh, Howard, what's his name? What's that guy's name? Terrence, Terrence Howard. Google Terrence Howard, Howard, Terrence Howard. And uh, you know, I'm not saying he's right, but it's very interesting. I've always kind of seen a problem like what he's talking about with just the basic, basic way we do arithmetic. <laughs> um, there, there is kind of a snafu in there and it probably leads to the, the quantum mechanics and, you know, everything's true and everything's false and it's kind of you know one plus one is two one times one is one how how is that possible one times one has to be two but a one x of one is one so it's, <laughs> i'm not saying he's right but it's interesting to start t to see what he's saying and i can't explain it and i'm not i shouldn't even try it in this video but anyways you look on youtube for terrence howard uh mathematics uh uh, what's a flower flower of life terrence howard the actor and it's, it's quite interesting and uh that's about it man uh, this video is getting going down a rabbit hole but <laughs> oh one thing i want to do is go back to the daily chart and i pull up the fibonacci retracement tool you don't see me using that a whole lot but just out of curiosity i want to show you Now there is there is one white line on here that I used that I drew in after I looked at this, and I should have had it on there, and, and I have had it on there in the past I do believe, but but I just want to show you, I I wasn't using the Fibonacci tool at all to draw in these white lines, and I want to show you just just want to show you how well this might line up. So obviously the very top and the very bottom white lines I have are already marking the high and the low. And up here, 84,000, this red line I've drawn in using the Fibonacci, the 1.618. That's probably the next resistance level when Bitcoin finally breaks above 74,000 on the daily chart and starts closing candles. When it finally does pump up there, that's probably, it could just blast through there. And, you know, the next level up is 100 and 
basically 101,000, 102,000. And, uh, you know, I, I could see it taking a break. Whenever this next halving pump does start, I could see it taking a break at 84 and maybe not even having much of a correction, maybe 10, 20% correction. And then, then, and then you just basically fly right up to a hundred thousand. And then you're dealing with obviously the psychological level of a hundred thousand lines up with the next Fibonacci resistance. I got a kit making a lot of noise. Quiet kook. Okay. I know you're weird. I know you are. I've known for a long time. You weird little kitty kit. Okay. So out of curiosity, Let's see if there's other lines on here that, that on the Fibonacci tool that line up with my white lines. And, and there's one, the 0.618. Is it? Yeah. Uh, boom. That's actually where we're at right now. We just bounced off that. So my chart, I had that Fibonacci level perfect on my chart without using the Fibonacci. And then basically this one here, it had a 60. This, this, that area I was talking about, a little above 65, a little below 65,000. Just a hair off. Let's zoom in. Just just a hair off there. Oops, dang it. I didn't mean to move that. Shoot. Uh, where did it? Uh, <laughs> uh, right, about, right about right about there. It's fine. Okay, uh, so yeah, look at that white line. Just, just a touch off. Just a touch off the green Fibonacci. My other white line here, the next Fibonacci down. Look at that. My white line. Just a touch, just a touch off. You know, in the in the grand scheme of things, that's that's pretty close. And uh, the next one down. Look at that. My white line. Where I had my white line without using the Fibonacci. And you know, in the past I've said that, you know, my chart is the sum of the Fibonacci. My fi the Fibonacci is basically causing these geometric patterns and these resistance and support levels on my chart. And there it is, right? So, so uh, that's interesting. Just to, just to touch off this one, just to touch off this one, just to touch off this one. This one here is extremely close, and they're all within. They're all close enough. You know, the support and level is never. Well, not I shouldn't say never, but you know, it's it's, it's in that range, right? It's just it's there. Boom! Look at that. And that and I did that. Let's get the Fibonacci off there. And I did that. Like I said, without pulling up the Fibonacci tool, and all I did is is marked the wicks. A, a lot of these ones down here at the bottom are the wicks, and then up kind of th and up at the top, they're the wicks, and then the ones kind of in here in the middle are kind of wicks and or candle bodies closing and or opening. Just just seeing where there's interaction, and that's why this is working so well for me, right? So obviously. That's uh, yeah, that's all I got to say, man. Um, I'm calling. I'm calling for uh, if I had to bet. I'm calling for at least sixty six thousand, and uh, you know we could be looking, could be looking at sixty four thousand. And as you know, I'm in a short, and when if it comes down to sixty four thousand, I'll look to be closing down my short, and because I do want to move predominantly into a long. I want my long to position to be in charge. I want that to be the big one with a with a smaller short hedging that. But uh, I'm waiting because I do think this is coming down. And it's got a good shot, folks, at 60,800. 60,800. If you gave me one target on here to, to pick and you know, I didn't have to risk nothing and you said, I'll give you $1,000 if you can pick where this, where this dump bottoms. I would probably just look at this and I would probably pick no I think this white line here 62,150 if you were going to give me $1000 and I didn't risk nothing and and you, you said pick where this bottoms on this chart which where the bottoms closest over the next month or two I would say this line here is 62,150 this one this one here, which would be a basically a bounce off the top of the bull trap extension channel, and uh, that's it. That's it. I do expect downside. Now upside. Let's uh, upside. What what if it what if it does just correct, and what if the correction is over and it does somehow just bounce from here? 
there's some there's some uh, inflation news coming up this week. Reports like the CPI, I think, and whatnot. So that'll have that could come into play here. And so let's actually extend this up a little bit here. Uh, I got my magnet on. I don't want my magnet on. About there. Let's extend these guys. And uh, now, now in a few days, next week, right? The, the bottom of that red channel is is in the uh, three white horizontal lines. All right, so it's going to have to set even to get to the red channel in a few days. It's going to have to set a higher high, which would be a big deal, and that's here at the seventy-two thousand area. And so coming down, what I would watch for is a lower low. And that's basically uh, on the daily chart. Uh, I, I would say probably 66,100. If it, if it starts closing daily candles below 66,000, and then uh, that's 65,000 areas good support if it comes below if it comes below 64,579 then then watch out watch out i'd like uh, like i said already 62,150 and uh you know it could it could we could it could come back down here it, it could come it could bitcoin could very easily folks believe it or not regardless of whatever you want to hear on social media about people just want your views and don't care about you this this could very easily come down here boom right double bottom double bottom boom and then and then boom it's on its merry way and the, the true having pump is coming from there and that could happen easily happen and uh yeah i'm out of here i've said enough and uh hope you liked it don't forget to, to like and subscribe and and share this with other people and if you're new to my channel and you're still watching go watch my last two videos i think you'll find those rather interesting with how that Turned out for that matter. Watch my last. I've only I made one stinky video, and that was quite a long time ago. And I left that on my channel. I didn't get rid of it. And uh, yeah, this is it. All right, later. Thanks. <laughs>